class of 2024, a night where we can commemorate our seniors for all their hard work over the past four years. You guys did it! <laughs> all the tears, sweat, and dedication you guys have put in finally paid off and you're now graduates. Although I do not know many of you very well, I do know that because uh, you are in the part of uh, the Academy of Finance, you are some of the most bright and intelligent people and we have Mr. P and the wonderful teachers who are a part of the Academy of Finance today. As students a part of the Academy of Finance, we've been mentored by some of the best teachers here at our school. I think we can all agree though, that something we've all picked up on is the love and spirit that has rubbed off on us from Mr. P. The hours and dedication he's given to this room. and dedication he's given to this program is why it is the amazing program it is today. Mr. P has been the lead director of the Academy of Finance here at ACHS for 15 years now. He's created such loving bonds and relationships with all his students, including myself, and I know has inspired all of us at some point. The fact that we were able to be mentored by such a passionate man is something that I'm extremely grateful for, and he's truly irreplaceable. <laughs> I and I'm sure the rest of my class are extremely jealous that the class of 2024 got to be with Mr. P for one final time because if you didn't know, it is Mr. P's final year of teaching. <laughs> but I know the lessons that he's taught us will never be forgotten. Every day he teaches us to be the best version of ourselves. And that is something we'll never forget. Parents, I hope you are extremely proud of class of 2024 as we are, and I hope and all the hard work that you've put in uh, will be something that will allow you guys to achieve great things in the future. Mr. P, your loyalty to the program and all the hard work you've put in to our success is something we'll be eternally grateful for. Now it is my deepest pleasure to welcome Mr. P. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. That was Anna Garcia from our junior class. I promised her earlier in the year that she would have the podium to introduce me tonight. You did a wonderful job, Anna. Thank you. Before we begin our night's program, I just want to recognize everyone else behind the scenes that's helped us, Ms. Willis Brown and myself, make this program possible. Uh, it's because it's not a two-person job. It's not even a 10-person job. It's a team, and the team just gets bigger and bigger all the time. Uh, so our leaders here at the school system are Dr. Melanie K. Wyatt, our superintendent, the distinguished board members uh, here at the high school, Alexander Duncan, our executive principal, and the campus administrator, Ashley Carter Sinclair. And of course, our CTE team, Dr. Trisha Jacobs, who's here in the team with us, in the room with us, and Sarah Black, the workplace, work-based learning coordinator. Um, and the CTE program, Career and Tech Education, which is what this academy is part of, is actually a large program, um, a large department. And one of our department chairs has stayed on late tonight just to be part of us tonight. Thank you, Ms. Barner. We all know what it's like to burn the Business partners. We have a wide variety of business partners that have helped us out in the program. Uh, their names are up here. Bloomberg, Commonwealth One, I believe is in the audience. Commonwealth One, are you here? Yay! <laughs> Marriott International, the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, the Crane Financial Independent Insurance Agency of Amer uh, Virginia, uh, recently the, U uh, the Chamber of Commerce from Alexandria, the Securities and Exchange Commission, the Federal Reserve, Board of Governors, there are so many resources here in this area, it would be a shame not to take part of them. And Ms. Willis Brown and I are both career switchers, so we know what it's like to make connections. And we've tried to pass that on to our students, that networking connections are very important. Uh, it's not always what you know, it's who you know that will get you uh, places and the doors open. Um, all right then, so I have asked the sophomore mentees 
to escort their senior mentors into their seats. So please welcome the class of 2024. You may begin. We have Naomi Abraham being escorted by, thank you, one of the Sienna sisters. Good. Thank you. Uh, Aisha Ali, Leslie Amaya Quintanilla, Sarah Bolione, Rachel Kane. Come on down as I ask to announce your name. Bryce Cohen, Promise Jua, Timothy Gantz, Elijah Azel Ray, Carol C.J. Fortune Jr. Uh, Taylor Frazier, Jocelyn Gajalva. I'm gonna need my glasses for this, guys, hold on a second. Jocelyn Grijalva, yes. Michelle Enriquez, Abigail Juarez, Mariam Caloro, Mahom Karoma, Barkat Klamachu, uh, Anika Lynette, Max Mila Ramirez, Nia Miller, Ander Maguia, Mateo Maguia, Douglas Patrick, Yara Petros, Danny Portillo Cardona, Ashton Rodriguez, Eve Scott, Alessandro Silva Camino, Evan Trail, Brett Townsend, Zaria Ward, and Victoria Zambrano Argueta. As they come in, welcome our class of 2024. They say that time travels fast, seniors, and just three short years ago, we were in this very auditorium. We were inducting you into the Academy of Finance, and Ms. Willis Brown and I promised you a journey, a journey that we would take you on, that we would support you through, and we would stay with you until the very end. Today is not the very end. Today is but a new beginning. When one door closes, another one opens, but it's a new beginning for all of you. And it's a proud moment for Ms. Willis Brown and myself. It's hard to see you all leave. After three years of working together, getting up early in the morning, staying late at night, working through our time deadlines, uh, it's all been an amazing journey. And I'm glad that we've been here to take it with you. So tonight we are going to walk down memory lane. But before we go, just remember, the Academy of Finance is not just the class here at the TC uh, Alexander City High School. Uh, it is a network of academies across the United States. We are just but one academy of the National Academy Foundation that has over 600 academies opened up in high schools across the country. So wherever you go, you know you'll be part of the network. This man, Mr. Sanford Whale, he's the man who had the idea of creating this na National Academy uh, with uh, career programs that would allow you to have some marketable skills. If you weren't necessarily good in math or science, at least you would have a marketable skill. And even in the Academy of Finance, you don't necessarily have to go into finance, although a lot of you are going into business and finance, it just warms my heart. Uh, but financial skills and personal financial management, uh, those, those will stay with you for the rest of your life. If you want to open up a clinic, you want to travel, you want to help other people, you want to be a nonprofit, managing money is important. And so wherever you go, you'll know that you have us and remember You'll either have Miss Willis Brown's voice on your shoulder or mine, reminding you what to do. All right, the network, yes, the alumni network, you all signed up for the alumni network, so wherever you go, just log into the NAF uh, website and you'll be able to see if there's anyone in the city that you're in, or if you're interviewing for a job, et cetera. Uh, use that network, because it's set up just for you. So, our Alexandria, AOF, we are diverse as our school is. We have 14 different countries, 10 languages spoken in our program alone. Our enrollment this year is 120 students. 15 years ago when I started it, we had a merely 64 students, um, and we've grown quite a bit. Yeah. 
So in your portfolio from the Academy of Finance program, you will have the NAS certificate. We give you that. We also give you an industry certification. You pass the WISE exam. And for some of you, we'll even have an internship uh, certification from the NAS program. Uh, so we try and give you as much as possible, not only the confidence and the skills, but the evidence and the paperwork to back it up. And parents, the Academy of Finance graduation rate is still 100%. <laughs> we did not settle for anything else. So how far we come these past three years? The students always kind of refer to me as their second dad because I'm always taking pictures. And this is what I use them for. I stayed here late the other night going through our photo albums and man, what did I find? Well, learning from each other, that's how we start, right? When we, in the sophomore year, getting you ready for your first job, dressing for success, knowing how to tie a tie, and then your peers judged you on how well you did tie that tie. And how many of you still remember how to do it tonight? You're not wearing a tie. Normally you do. <laughs> Mock interviews. But you know, in your year, we were still in a COVID setting, so we did it via Zoom. But this is really what it looked like. And Credit Union was there as well interviewing. <laughs> we marched in the homecoming parade, both with AOF and with FBLA. Alumni dinner. You worked it last year when you were juniors. Shalom? Or? Yeah, but that's Barca, but Shalom is in her place. It's like your sisters, uh, you're, you're sitting in the same spot. <laughs> Alumni dinner mentoring program. We have the seniors mentor the sophomores. At the beginning of the year, we give them a chance to meet each other. And so we had a meet and greet up in the rotunda. Uh, the induction ceremony, of course, where the sophomores, you were the stars of the show. And now it's just reversed. Rather than the seniors bringing you into the program, you are helping the seniors exit the program our holiday parties with your creativity. But you know what I think we've enjoyed most is the bonds you've made. You refer to this as a, your family, and it very much is. Um, and, and when we're watching that happen right before our eyes, um, it's, it just makes us smile and reminds us this is the job that we should be doing. So extended learning opportunities. We had professional guest speakers come in. We went on field trips, KPMG, the career con. We won scholarships through that. Uh, the Shred Day with our credit union, and of course the New York trip. <laughs> but you know, parents, I gotta, I gotta. We take these kids to New York, take them to Times Square, give them a walking tour of Wall Street, take them to the top of a skyscraper, and even to a Broadway show. And one thing they wanted to talk about when they get back. <laughs> The squirrel incident. Right. How do you come back and only think of a squirrel when you've got all of New York? But if that's the memory that takes you back there, every time you see a squirrel, you'll be back in New York with me. <laughs> all right, so. Oh, no, the Oh, yeah, this, this is where <laughs> I get to have a little fun. Now, not everyone's going to appear in the slide, but we do. Some of you have just matured nicely. You went from looking like a 10-year-old kid to a young adult. Others haven't changed a bit. Some of you still have that beautiful smile. So, what have we got? <laughs> Victoria, you have grown up and matured beautifully. Ah, Brett, <laughs> Bryce, I think just having you in the classroom, uh, has brought, you know, it makes me smile just having you around. You've got that gift, you know how to make other people smile, so don't ever lose it. Now, nothing has changed there. You got the same look in your eyes, you got that same smile. Where is she? Oh, there you are. Yes. And you're going to be on stage. It's that smile that's going to open doors for you, so don't ever lose it. Oh, here we go. A nice mature look that you have. And Danny. Couldn't have a slideshow without putting Danny in it. And this is the same person. It's not his brother, okay? <laughs> but out of all the looks I've seen over the past years, you get the prize. So thank you, Ashton, for allowing me to use this. All the looks. And you've never been afraid to try a new one. And tonight, you're wearing our Academy color. I appreciate that. <laughs> so. 
I tell, I, I'm willing to do it. I put you through it. I will go through it myself. We're all the same. So yes, 15 years ago when I joined this program. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> All the awards that you've won in the past three years, the, this senior year, your business plan, uh, the team that you see there, uh, found Fitch was their business name, and they designed a gym specifically for women. No intimidation, just strictly women you can exercise. Um, and you took the first place. Congratulations. Going to FBLA, F our program is members with FBLA, that's our professional organization. We're always doing quite well. Uh, we are always in the top three. This year we're, uh, we're second in our region, which is nice because all of you guys do that. So the regionals, we brought home 26 medals. In the states, we brought home five trophies, and three of those students are going on to nationals this summer. And I noticed that a lot of you got that National Merit Scholarship back in the fall. Here's next. All right, student testimonials. At the end of every senior year, we ask the seniors to do an exit interview, which is kind of asking you, how were these past three years in the program? Now, I was there, I recorded the raw footage for most of you, but WD put a nice little montage together for us. Um, hi, my name is Miriam Calvaro. I've been in the Academy of Finance for the past three years. Hello, my name is Max, and I go to the AOF program at Alexander City High School. My name is Evan Trail. Hi, my name is Promise Stewart, and I'm from the Alexandria City AOF program. Over the past three years, I've learned a lot as in terms of like um, presentation skills or like you know speaking in front of a class. In sophomore year, I would definitely not do that, as I would be like a shy little kid. But over the years, Mr. P has taught me how to like be more confident in myself, which I really do owe him a lot for that. As well as for Miss WB, who taught me how to like um, show me some skills in terms of like doing notes. Her notes definitely helped me a lot. The Academy of Finance has taught me a lot about professionalism. It's helped me instill a lot of good habits, such as time management, um, working with other people, and communicating with them um, in class and out of class, like through emails and text messages. And I also learned presentation skills, which really helped me because in the beginning when I first came to this program, I was really shy and I didn't really like presentations, but like at the end of the year, I've gotten much better and I've improved. These past few years have been very opportunity built. I've been able to secure an internship for the first time, a Commonwealth One uh, Credit Union my sophomore year, and I was able to visit New York this past year, my senior year, which was really fun. Hi, my name is Ben. I come from Alexandria City High School in front of the AOF program. Hi, my name is Eve Scott. Um, these past few years have been great. Um, hello, my name is Jocelyn Grohava. Hi, everyone. My name is Taylor Frazier, and I'm a senior at the Academy of Finance here at Alexandria. Uh, these past three years have been amazing, I have to say. I did learn a lot from the Academy of Finance. More importantly, the, the best thing that I've learned from Academy of Finance, I have to say, is my professionalism. I took a lot from Mr. P and Ms. WB about things such as like, even like dressing up, like how to wear a suit, what, what type of suit you should wear, when you should wear it, stuff, etc. Interviewing skills, body language, how to presume how to present yourself as like confident to interviewers. A lot of the like, mock speaking um, and professional events we did really helped me sort of gain confidence in public speaking um, and start to think about you know life after high school with the resumes and the mock interviews. Um, so that was great. And also the interviews and professional opportunities that we got were really cool. In the past three years, I've um, learned a lot of valuable skills in finance and one big skill that I've learned from Ms. WB is to always budget, um, budget out your money. 
And the past few years um, with the NAV AOF, well, Academy of Finance, I should say, have just been utterly amazing, honestly. I have gained so many friends from it, um, and it's just great to walk in and have a class where you're surrounded by friends. I will miss this program as I made friends over the years when I was in sophomore. I didn't have that much friends, but over the years, I feel like I won't even consider it as friends, but I consider it more as a family, a family that has helped me be more confident in myself, and a family that will definitely like help me in the future. Everyone is a family here. So, um, other programs. In the Academy of Finance, I've met a lot of really good friends that I even talk to outside of school significantly, and it's been really nice to have the same teachers and students for the past three years because it really instills a good community feel and an uplifting community to be in. Additionally, I made a lot of friends here. I have to say the community is very tight. Everybody knows each other. So I've learned a lot of things through this program and I really appreciate the time that I've spent here. This academy, these teachers, these people, that is what makes AOF so great. Thank you students and thank you Ms. Willis Brown for putting that montage together for us. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better ourselves. And it's nice, yes, uh, three years together we do build a strong relationship, our bond, and it does feel like a family. Uh, so, the Sandy Awards. What is a Sandy? Well, you're looking at the statue and we get the name from the man who created our program, Sanford Whale. His friends call him Sandy. And we are an Academy program. It's an awards ceremony, so put those two together and we have an Academy Awards program and our statue looks very much like an Oscar. So every year we ask every class, every block, to vote for a peer who they think deserves the Sandy. And that is not just because you get good grades, it's the package deal. Uh, you